All right, guys. Uh, latest, latest news. We now know uh, Alexander the Great's museum buff. They also released like Constantine, Attila, Takeda. Um, we're not going to cover that today. Uh, just a general overview on the museum system, in my opinion. And specifically, we're going to talk about Alex because he's the only one out of the ones released that's actually part of the open field meta. And then it's really important because this timing is kind of awkward because right after the Cavs, we're expecting infantry, right? And that should come out sometime in July, maybe August. So really you could have like one, maybe two KBKs with this museum uh, relic, depending on who the new uh, infantry commander is. So overview, we're gonna talk about general thoughts on the museum system. We'll go over Alex's museum real quick. Uh, we'll spend some time talking about this next infantry cycle. Really it comes down to Guan versus a double relic Alex, but right? which one uh, would you rather have? And then personally what I'm doing. Okay, so personal thoughts on the museum system. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, it's pretty frustrating. So the museum, as I understand it originally, was a way to bridge the gap between older commanders and uh, the latest and greatest commanders, right? So for a lot of players that have invested in these older commanders, like Attila, like Alex, even like Charles Martel, uh, when you first get into KVK three now, back then it was season, uh, KVK four, and all these end game commanders are available, the gap is really big and museum was a way to help bridge that gap. Uh, by the time I got to KVK four, which is when museums became available, they started taking away a lot of ways to get relic coins, right? So uh, there is this event, I forgot the exact name, uh, but when you commit, complete that event, when you first get the museum, it's kind of like Lucerne Scrolls. Uh, if I remember correctly, there was enough for me to max one commander. So I think I chose uh, Mehmed, right? The single and double relic. So that's going to be 900 and then 1800 relic coins. And I had enough to get a third commander uh, to the first relic, so like another 900. So it's somewhere around that um, like 3,000, 3,500 uh, relic coin range that you could get when you first get uh, the museum unlocked. Beyond that, the only way to get relic coins is uh, through dailies. So if you finish all your, uh, your dailies, right, the daily quest, you could get 20 per day, and then uh, you can either buy them from the shop, which is really, really expensive. It's like 100 gems per one relic. It's crazy. Or you could actually buy them uh, from the uh, uh, you could buy them from the super value bundle where you could do the, like the 99 cent, $1.99, $5 tier all the way on up. Uh, it just, but all honestly, the value there, like for the amount of coins you get uh, for how much it costs, it's not really worth it in my opinion. So it started out as something that was great because when you first started out, uh, there was, you can actually buy almost like a, a seven day bundle or something like that, right? Where you could get X amount of uh, relic coins per day. Also, there were just all these events that had the relic coins in them and they took all of them away. So for me personally, this whole time with this museum system, uh, I have kind of like a bitter taste in my mouth because they took that away a little bit before I got to uh, Season of Conquest. And for the most part now, it's not free to play or low spend friendly, right? Because if you're not spending and you're just getting 20 a day, and you want 2200 to unlock Alex's uh, relic, right? That's 110 days just to get one, right? For 10% for defense. And for something like that, it, it should be way easier to get, or in my opinion, even free, right? Because if you make it free and you bridge the gap a little bit, you're actually incentivizing players to invest in a lot of these commanders in the early game. Or if the uh, uh, museum is cool enough, even in the end game, maybe like it's worth it for me to go back and buy dailies and max, say, like Attila or something and, and, and make them usable in the end game, right? But when you actually add another pay system for this, uh, I feel like not only does it leave a bitter taste in a lot of players' mouth, I mean, I know for me personally, but you're actually literally mixing out on revenue opportunity to incentivize players to invest in early game commanders just because there's too many steps where you have to pay to get these players, and then now it's not really worth it. Okay, so that's my overall thoughts on a museum system. Uh, hopefully Lilith listens and 
either bring it back to the way they originally had it, where it was a lot easier to get relic coins, or straight up just make it free, right? Like if you make it free, quote unquote, uh, I think you can make a case where the revenue you could generate from it will actually be even more than what they're doing right now. Okay, so let's actually go over Alex's museum. So uh, based on the video that dropped this morning, uh, I was concerned that the first relic might be 2200, but then the second one might be more. Uh, but based on the video that dropped, they showed a uh, screenshot of Constantine already with one relic unlocked. And on the screen, it showed that to unlock the second one, it was 2200. So I'm gonna assume that it's the same for Alex. So if you don't have it unlocked at all, it's gonna cost you 4400. If you already have one unlocked like me, it'll cost you 2200 more. Uh, is it the best ever? No, but is it good enough to get? Definitely. Just because Alex, out of uh, any of the uh, commanders in the museum, is actually part of the open field meta. You can make a case at why she is close. Maybe McMahon, not really. But Alex literally is part of the open field meta. Uh, Elsie, Luce Alex, is very good. Uh, I think if you had to make a case for how strong that pairing is, I think Scipio Luce is number one. Zuga Liang, uh, Herman is two. And I can actually make a case that Luce Alex is the third best uh, pairing in the game. I would straight up take this march over Nevsky Joan. Uh, I've used both compared to the reports side by side and this one just traded better. It was actually more fun for me to use. It did more damage. I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, I know why, but it's, it's actually kind of weird because on paper at first glance, it would seem like Nevsky Joan would do more. But Alex, LC Alex just, is just really, really good, right? So uh, if you give that March uh, another 10% defense and another 3% damage reduction or 20% defense, 6% damage reduction, if you don't have the museum unlocked, uh, it's worth it. Now, the challenge with this is that after the calf cycle, we have an infantry cycle, right? So let's just say the calf cycle comes out in May, then you should be expecting the infantry cycle to come out july maybe august so if you're investing in this relic now uh and this update is supposed to be released on april 23rd so a few days from now right and you can get one kvk maybe two and then alex could actually get bench which is what makes this really awkward and also kind of frustrating that if you have to spend to be able to keep up but then you could potentially lose alex <laughs> by uh, July or August, uh, it, it makes it a tough decision, right? So some thoughts on the next infantry cycle. First, is it going to be smite or not, right? Uh, it At least for now, it seems like in Lilith is going the route of smite for infantry, and then I guess leadership and engineering. But they've avoided putting smite in archer and cavalry so far. Um, it does seem like that might be a trend. So is it going to be a smite commander? Because if it's going to be a smite commander, obviously it's probably going to pair well with Luce, right? And then if you pair the new commander with Luce, then uh, do you, for the second infantry march, do you still uh, stick with Guan Scipio, right? Some other possible pairings, since we know Luce Alex is really good and Scipio already paired really well with Luce, does the new infantry commander pair well with Scipio and your two best infantry marches is going to be Lucha Alex and then the new infant Scipio, right? There could also be a world where, since Alex pairs really well with Lucha, maybe Scipio and Lucha will pair together, and then the new inf actually pairs really well with Alex, right? I think what's less likely to happen is that Guan actually pairs really well with the new infantry commander, uh, and then you have like Scipio and Lucha, right? And then finally, uh, with the double museum relic, uh, would you take double relic Alex Scipio over uh, Guan Scipio and then just a new commander pairs with Luce? Like we, we don't actually know for sure. I think you need some testing. Uh, but out of all the scenarios that are possible, there might be some I can't think of, but these are probably the most likely ones. I think uh, there is more likely that there's a chance that Guan actually gets benched in favor of a double relic Alex, right? If you had to give me all the possible scenarios, but I don't think it's like a slam dunk, which is why this museum, uh, it makes it a little bit risky just because it costs a lot. It's hard to get now, right? And 
really there's a possibility that Alex will get benched in the next three, four months at most. Right. So what am I doing? I mean, begrudgingly, I am investing in Alex. Uh, on the bottom here, uh, for the save the dates, that's RKVK schedule. So right now I'm at about 1,200 relic coins. Right, assuming you get 20 from the dailies and then 32 uh, from the bundle if you buy the 99 cent, 199 and $5 bundle, right, $8 a day, uh, that, uh, that comes out to 52 a day. So at that rate, um, I should actually be able to unlock the second museum for Alex uh, right on May 8th, which is when we expect our first fight in to happen when past seven uh, opens. So, uh, do I like it? No, it, it, just, it just, there's something about it that rubs me the wrong way. Uh, and I'll, I'll be honest, I actually like the Crystal Tech system. Um, for me personally, just because I'm a mid spender, so I spend more than most people in the game. Uh, and it, I enjoy the pay to way aspect of this game when there's an advantage. But just something about the way they did museum, uh, I don't really like, right? I think it should be free or there just should just be a lot more ways where you could get relic, where the cost should be a little bit cheaper for what you're getting from it. Um, but for this one, I think I'm just going to take the shot, uh, investing in Alex. So I could definitely have them for this KVK. Uh, I'll definitely be able to have it for at least probably like half, uh, of the next KVK right until the new inf comes out. And then when new inf comes out, there is also a, I think, better than 50% chance that Alex stays and Guan gets benched. Now, something to consider, too, is if they're releasing relics for Attila and Takeda, right, they're probably going to release a, a relic for Guan. And uh, if, for people who are not that familiar with the Chinese culture, uh, Guan Yu is like this legendary, beloved figure. Uh, I think it's very likely that his relic will make him valuable. Uh, but we just one, we don't know when that's going to come out. And then two, um, even if it does come out, does it actually put him above whatever the pairing for Alex is going to be, right? So I still think there's a better than 50% chance that Alex stays and Guan gets benched. But we just have to keep in mind that the Guan relic is going to come out, right? And, and that relic, there's a very real chance that when the Guan relic comes out, it actually makes... Alex the one that gets benched and then you uh, I essentially have wasted my investment into Alex right so hopefully they make some changes to the museum system I'll uh, submit this to Lilith and and uh, try to let them know what my thoughts are but again I'm just a small fry so who knows where they'll listen but uh, if you watch all the way to the end and you haven't yet please like and subscribe to the video and really appreciate you guys watching to the end and I'll talk to you guys next time